Arthur Copley, who was under fire over gas tax flubs and receipts, got some mixed news today. There is a new poll that shows her lead widening in the Democratic race, but it reveals a potential problem head to head with Charlie Baker. News Center 5's Jenna Wu takes us on the record tonight. Martha Coakley has been pushing back on questions over what she knows, doesn't know, and why for a week. First, Republicans slammed her for her missed answer on Channel 5's OTR political show when asked about the state gas tax. Uh, 10 cents? Uh, 24 cents a gallon. Then it was revealed she hasn't reimbursed the state for over four years of political travel in state police vehicles. We actually were in the process of uh, doing reimbursements around this particular issue, which we had said we would do when we wanted to make sure. We went back and checked. We found some gaps. Coakley says they reimbursed the state yesterday $11,000 for gas, mileage, and interest, not tolls. It's odd that somebody would go four years. Uh, without submitting any reimbursements for political travel, and they're an office holder who oversees, among other agencies, the Office of Campaign Political Finance. Every single candidate is responsible for her campaign, and every campaign is responsible to be transparent and to follow the law. Uh, I've done that. But today, Coakley's number one Democratic challenger asked the Inspector General to step in. It's clear that she has been violating the public trust at the very least. This is an integrity issue, and I think her integrity is on the line in this matter. What's likely spurring both men are the numbers. A WBUR poll released today shows in a possible general election lineup, Coakley is losing ground against Charlie Baker. The poll shows she has only a single-digit lead. In the primary race, Coakley is gaining against Grossman, 51% versus Grossman's 7% support among likely Democratic voters. Now, the Democratic State Convention is now only three weeks away, and Grossman is looking for a surprise win of the party's endorsement. That's why he's aggressively attacking, hoping party insiders see Coakley's vulnerabilities in a general election. Janet Wu, WCVB, New Center 5.